come up to a lock. First double lock for ages. Kibworth top lock. I'm getting treated. I'm eating that lock done. This is the first time ever I've had kippers. I figure while in Rome, do as the English. What's going on, Magnus? We're a bit crooked. We're very crooked. We're, in a, small, we're in a small pound and um, and the lock at that end has opened and the, so it's drained the water out of the pound. So we're a little bit crooked. And all the drawers are opened and everything's sliding off the tables. Look. <laughs> going to the water completely there. Banks is just trying to keep everything. <laughs> It really is quite a tick. Who oh, knows? Oh, this is hilarious. We're stuck on the mud. And why are we stuck on the mud? Because it's muddy. <laughs> Wrong answer. Because the pound is empty. Just in case you needed to know. It must be an Indian wedding because there are teepees. Note to self. Don't tie fenders on with cable ties because we lost three. I quite reach. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to jump it. Nah. Oh, chicky. I'll jump this way. You jump the boat instead. Ooh. Miles and miles. Yeah. The gates are playing games with us. They're too well balanced. One opens, one closes. One opens, one closes. Have you noticed something in this scenario? Ah, Magnus is doing a lock and that means I'm driving the boot. This is my second lock I've come into and I don't think I've done too bad a job, have I? Done really, really well. Yeah, go me and it's a windy day. This is the lock gate game, part two. Well, because these gates are so well balanced and it's windy, what you gotta do is you gotta crack the bottom paddle just a little bit so that when the gates close, they stay closed. Don't crack it too much because the gates will bang. Hints and tips of narrow boating. That should be the end of that little game. I'll get some action shots of Magnus. Oh, I missed it. So here comes Wendy on her third lock of the morning or afternoon. thong got stuck in a crack. So how do you feel, Wen? Yeah, good. <laughs> yeah, good, good. Getting the hang of this lock. And it's a really windy day, so uh, I think I'm not doing too badly. Yeah, you're doing all right. It's all right, it's all right. Looks like they've started harvesting the uh, crop. Might have to go and have a beer. You haven't got the 15p <laughs> so here we are at the navigation in, oh, what's the name of the bridge? Kibli, Kibli, Kilby. Kibli, Kilby, Kibli. Starts with K, that's a bridge. And it's on the, less the um, arm of the Great Year. I've got their local beer, the navigation beer, and it's a 3.8, was it, Wayne? Oh, I can't see that. I can't see. And uh, give it a go. Oh yeah, that's not bad. That's that's good. That's really really good. Um, that's lovely. I'd give that a good eight and a half. Doing well with these. Um, a lot of the pubs we go to and we drink the beer of the pub, they're good. We just had a couple of beers at the pub and we're heading back to Nutshell for a curry. Right, take two. Is the microphone on? Yeah. All right, so the microphone is on this time. Mm -hmm. Wendy's um, not here because she's there. She's being the camera woman for this little chat. 
Because she hasn't done her hair, so she didn't want to be on the camera. Um, yeah, we're here. Uh, we've just been to the pub. We've been down to the... What was it called? Navigation. Navigation in Kipley. Kipley, Kip, Kipley, Kip, not sure. Anyway, near a bridge. Um, nice little spot. Nice little pub. Actually, awesome little pub. And did a few, had a few beers, but we got we were hooked up with some locals there, yakking and yakking, so we didn't film any. Um, but I just wanted to catch up and say say good day. And you did you film the navigation beer? Did I film it? I did film the navigation beer. Apparently, I can't remember. It was three beers ago. Um, what was I saying before I got really interrupted by the cameraman woman? Oh yeah, I'm just going to catch up and let you know what we're up to. We. Um, well, it took us over a year to find a narrowboat, to find the right narrowboat after searching forever and looking through thousands of them. So that took us a year. And so we've started looking for a yacht because we figure that's going to take us a while. So we also figure that it may take a while to sell the boat. So we are putting Nutshell up for sale from now onwards. Um, so she's for sale because it'll take, I reckon it'll take a while to find a new buyer, uh, as it will take a while to find a new, um, an, a yacht to sail. Um, so yeah, we were giving us a, a, the one year plan, which starts today. And, um, what else is, what else is happening? Oh yeah. Uh, no, that didn't happen yesterday because today's tomorrow because we're filming. Yeah. Anyway. It's really complicated to film a day behind the day before. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to let you know that that um, that we're on the search for a yacht, and uh, there are plenty around. But um, you know, you want to find something that's spot on. The quiz about the counter. That was Jeff. Jeff, well done, mate. A lot of you got it right. Uh, it wasn't a very difficult quiz. Um, there were a couple of good answers, um, but Jeff, you did well, mate. You were the first one to get it in and get it right. We tested out the iPhone for doing a live thing out today, and it worked really well. So we're gonna we're gonna do some live, um, some live little things, you know, just cruise along the cut and stuff. So we won't announce them or anything they're just when we feel like it and when we've got good signal because you have to have 4g and it's not that often you get 4g so every now and then there'll be a little live g'day and show you the countryside and where we are and anything interesting so if you want to get um notification of any live ones going out um you'll need to subscribe uh, and click the little bell thing oh next to the subscription thing about there um but otherwise you can always watch it afterwards anyway so there's no need to subscribe yeah that's about it catch you tomorrow see ya <laughs>